Welcome to the Empire by this is Rampant, and welcome back to my Holy Roman Empire campaign for the Stainless Steel Historical Improvement Project mod for Medieval 2. We're going to continue in that stuff from last time. We just completed a jihad, uh, crusade, not jihad, crusade, yeah, the traitor, uh, a crusade for Tripoli. Right now, I'm having all my armies that were sitting about helping out with the sieges there are now spreading out to start trying to conquer. We have a couple fights ready around Antioch and everything else, but for the most part, most of these areas, I'm going to, if I can, seize them out. You, I was having you go up here, but if I have you turn around back for right now, as they have a lot more guys around here than I was liking to, and I'll probably actually have it so we can kind of maybe push back down around here. The castles are our ideal defense point, but I'm not opposed to trying to go for some of the cities. And if we can get far enough, there's a castle like over here I would not be opposed to trying to take, as that would be a really good place to try and hold as well. I know Akadur is kind of be like the furthest south I want to go right now for our campaign. But you guys have been doing well, well there. All my other armies right now, so for the most part, we basically just have everything around here for the Crusade. Uh, you guys are still up around Novgorod. I still want to get you out of here at some point to bring you out of that area. But for the most part, bring every single one of my armies. Just have to wait and see what's going to go on around with um, Halab with that Jihad. I should be able to keep defending, I think, at this point in time as we've been able to do really well for ourselves. But we don't have any other really major, ma uh, large armies right now. Still trying to figure out where the hell the Mongols are. I'm probably going to have you, uh, you, once you get to this area, start trying to go down and see where they're at possibly. You're going to be trying to scout out above uh, a little bit more up to the north to figure out what's going on with them because i'm hoping i need to get some sort of defensive position set up just in case and that's kind of why i want to be able to like but i think pushing over here would be probably maybe the furthest east i go maybe for right now at least for sure because that's a really good castle it's a really good nice choke point um there's actually a couple castles over here that would be really good for me to try and push on into with some of my crusading armies that's the Kelsey army, that's all good right there. Also, I've got to the point with my economy. I might start trying to straight up and just have it so that um, what we'll do... Okay, that's good for us, actually. Do Ooh! Gunpowder! Good, good! I was wondering when we were finally going to get to this, because the whole point of this campaign is to get to the end game, late game stuff, and just see, like, I, I, we don't get to see very late game campaigns in Medieval 2 very often, which I am excited about this. So we now have gotten the gunpowder, which honestly, I really should have realized that we were that close because the Mongols. Um, let's see, new, man, new crossbow mechanics uh, have been developed. Let's see, so it doesn't specify if this is going to give anything specifically. Okay, and then also uh, Grand Tower and Sevilla. Ooh. Interesting. And then Forge Lost. Yeah, we're worried of that. Uh, we continue losing money every turn, so that's, that's nothing new. Um, okay. But yeah, no, I like that gunpowder is now available. I wonder what that gives us. So first let's go around and kind of just build more stuff around here. Uh, I don't see anything just yet. In these cities, this wine. Yeah, you guys are good. You're just trying to get the foundations of this church here, which I'm so excited to see what that is going to be like. Um, so you guys are good there. Thrak, you're good. And then let's see. Venzia, you're good. Just queuing more stuff up. Um, let's see. You guys are getting your barracks right now. It's good. And then let's see. What else? That's it. You guys, let's probably get the port stuff, I'd say. You guys make quite a bit of money. Honestly, you really do. Um, I will want to double check. So once we check, Visby's the only thing that has anything left. Let's just like get that. Let's go back over and see. Is it in my cities or my castles where I'm going to see most of the stuff? So it might be next turn technically is when everything starts kicking in. Because I don't see anything just at the moment right now. Like Siege Works, it's not on here. Uh, Mongonel, Trabuchet, that's it. Just same deal. Um, technically, we technically attach to my armory, but I doubt it. Because, like, I, I think it'd just be, like, next turn is when it'll properly start kicking in. Because, actually, where is the armory here? With you guys here. Nope, nope, nope. Smiths. Yeah, no. And some, none of the siege stuff either. No. Yeah, I think we just have to wait. I think next turn... Actually, maybe towers, actually. That might be the one thing we'll actually be able to see. Ballista towers. No, it still only pops up as ballista towers. Yeah, so I don't know where it'll start kicking in. But it should at some point soon. You guys here, though, you could be building that stuff up for us. Um, they're allies, and you've got a truce. Interesting. Carnival Port, and then you guys don't like me all that much. Poland, why? I'm your bro, I'm your friend, I'm your pal. Why do you gotta be a dick to me? Okay, so what we're gonna be doing right now, though, is you gather together with all these other random excess guys around here, and what we're gonna do right now is, let's see, so this area here, you guys should be okay. Well, you guys aren't allied, so if I bring you back over this way, I can't merge these guys. Well, you can merge a couple. Um, I'll tell you see if I can push you back. If I fight this myself, I can. 
because I want to have it so that we'll push you guys back. I don't want you guys to be controlled by the AI. I want to command you myself. Get them off the city. Give us another turn to try and replenish. And then let's try and focus on, I'd say for right now, leave the stuff around north of Sis. Just leave that alone. I've got Sis to defend around that area if I really need to. i actually rather hit a lot of these cities they have right now. So let's focus on taking Antioch back, um, taking Acker and Damascus and some of the other cities east of here as well. So we're going to put a lot of our attention on for right now. Let's wait a little bit until we get rid of this fog. Here we go. Let's grab all of my cavalry together. Creep you guys up. I have a little bit more. Uh, I don't have a lot of infantry. That's fine. Who needs infantry? Technically, I can include the javelins in that too. But yeah, you guys group up there. Then skirmishers in back behind them. And then let's just have you guys make sure you turn skirmish mode off, guard mode on, and then let's get going. Melee cap kind of group up, uh, basically it's over here. Skirmisher cap over on the right side. Structure battle. And then let's see if they're going to advance onto me. They are, it seems like, at the moment. Let's get all of my cavs to start trying to make your way forward a little bit here. Because the moment, it's either they're going to commit or they're not going to. And I love if they just don't. Because I can just, like, here... I see a pretty vulnerable mount of cab of archers. Let's have you guys like kind of charge in there. You guys kind of charge in there. You guys like right there. And right there. Just get an initial good charge in on these guys to do some good damage. And ideally then lure them back over me. So like 3% of their forces have died already. T mm, mm, yes. Um, on that charge, I killed about 15%. Beautiful. Yeah, that's be 20% died in that charge. Okay, pull back, guys. Pull back, get back over towards my men. Because we took a little bit of damage, only about a 1%. Uh, focus on that cab unit specifically, technically. Try and make your way over there. Come on, guys, get out of there. That's the Lancers. Uh, just try and pull back. They are breaking already. I'd like to see that. Yeah, pull back for right now. Get them closer to my general's bodyguard, my uh, infantry, and my skirmishers. Then let's focus on this general's bodyguard as soon as all of you guys have gotten out. There we go. Yeah, focus on them. Because the fourth of the enemy army is already dead. Their general is trying to focus on my guys here, but I can surround you pretty nicely. Uh, archers try and pull back a little bit. And then this is a spearman you're fighting too, so you should be pretty stuck right now. Yeah, 32 guys, you're already down. 18 guys right there. These are spearmen. I will want to get away from those guys if I can sooner rather than later. I just want to make sure we kill the general's bodyguard. I think we'll have to pull back now though and not wait. Because if I wait too long, they'll start doing some good damage with those spearmen, so let's pull back for right now. Um, they have their archers still doing some stuff back there. Let's go hit them for now. Because, yeah, almost half their army's already dead. That was pretty fast. So, yeah, let's just ignore the general's bodyguard for right now. Perfect. Now we can just have it so if you guys get back here, we should be able to then break these archers pretty easily. Actually, hit this spearman. He's in the way. I don't want to run around him. Because I think he'll break now that they've, yeah, the general's dead, so they'll break. Let's have you guys then start trying to hit the archers. He's at 30, 50, 50, 50%. Uh, one of you guys uh, kind of turn back around and start trying to hit these guys that are fighting my melee. Horse archers, you guys are fine as you are. And then let's see, those guys are breaking and running away. Let's see you guys start trying to hit this blob of dudes. There we go. So, we have been able to liberate uh, Halab once more. You guys will now be able to try and start replenishing your forces. Um, get a little bit more before, I'm assuming, the Moors will try and attack once again. I think this is, these last two armies are actually the last of their Jihad. So, at this point in time, they'll soon start giving up. And then I should be able to start properly fully expanding around here. So, again, try and ransom them. We're trying to be nice. Uh, let's then have it so. I need to get you some more troops around here. Yeah, grab those two guys there. And then let me grab. Uh, there's one more guy. Let's grab this guy. Grab that calf. Bring him over here. You guys get back in the city there. So, we at least have a proper full garrison there. Uh, can I get Jarms around here yet? Uh, no, not yet. Because I know. Oh, no, it was Halab. Halab is the one that can get them at some point. Which. 23 turns. It's, it's a while, but it's it's something. Um, and let me see. So, you got 31 guys. Definitely trying to train him. I'm trying to see if there's anything I want to focus on. I'd probably say this guy instead, because he's got 60 guys. So, that's probably good. Just keep your training what you have right there. And then this army, uh, hold back for right now. Basically, just have it so that you can kind of hold back at, for now. This area, I will be able to get some troops to watch over the city in 10 turns. Although, you guys, 12 for there... I'd like to be able to just get a couple more of those guys so we can have some men actually watch over Tripoli. Then I can take this army out and try and make my way over to Damascus. Uh, so I gotta love Welfare's Siege once again. And it, it was brought up in the comments that uh, Welfare has been sieged like 16 fucking times. 
Ooh, what's this about? Let's see, so it's a nice cooperation. So they'll provide more trade bonuses. The recruitment of units will also improve either through access to union units or faster regeneration of recruitment pools. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, also, I do need to remember to double check. I'm still trying to go over here and try and find somebody that I can marry for uh, from Leon Castillo. So I know they've got a city around here. So yeah, here's a road, so we can kind of keep following that. Um, yeah, Halab is siege, once again, that's what we expected. But hey, you guys may be able to at least get some replenishment before that happened. That's at least good. Uh, other than that, we know let's see, Venezia is siege once again. God damn, can't you just leave me the fuck alone? Of course not. Yeah, I, I can't wait until I can... Actually, honestly, I'm making enough money. I should probably just make another army over here and start pushing into you guys. I was like... Actually, if I can get you guys have enough around here, I might be able to push out of this area. Technically, you guys Once have dropped off here, and I'm a little concerned about that. But I think I can bring you guys up and around to start trying to push on over around here. Uh, you guys, I'm going to have you guys queue up some more port stuff around here. So I'm going to well first, the other one that's siege, but it's, it's Welfberg. Uh, and how is that one son doing? He is currently nine. He's getting up there in age. He's getting close. Also, I really do need to make sure, like, sooner rather than later. I need to actually accept some sort of marriage for one of my princesses or to get you married because otherwise no other offer is going to go to any other people that I have right now and like that's an issue especially for my heir who is currently at the moment um, he's unmarried which is not a good thing because uh, th what, what, what traits do you have again? I'm trying to remember who because you have oh you have the Germanic, Venetian, and uh, Argonese. Ooh, technically at least that means like all of your siblings are the same like that too. Which I would hope that we can at least have it so we can keep all those lines going. Um, and for the poor, good job. Uh, oh, you guys know the strongest faction. Oh, shit. Um, let's see. So, one of my nobles died. That was in Prague. Oh. Damn it. I'll just, yeah. You guys can get some stuff up here. Let's just queue up. Uh, yeah, we'll finish some stuff. Just queue those up there. Let's see what else. Gand. Um, I would say queue up the cathedral. And then let me double check and see if anything kicked in again that will allow me to now do. Let's see. Is maybe that no? No, I don't see any guilds that would uh, pop up. It might just be that technically it's the first bit. Yeah, I think it's just the first bit of saying, "Hey, black uh, black powder or gunpowder is starting to be uh, a thing now," but none of the other scripts have been triggered just yet. I could see that being the case, although it would be kind of sad if that's the case, because I want gunpowder units, damn it. I know it's going to be a while until we get the really good ones, though. You guys are good there. Keep that stuff get up. Um, Verona, you guys are going for the military stuff. Regium, I just keep more stuff up for you guys already. And then let's see what else. That's, that's actually it. But, you know, I think what I should try and do is we can just get some guys ready to start trying to push on out. Because, basically, if I do... Well, I can just grab a shit ton of you guys, honestly. It's mainly the skirmishers. I don't have, like, really good skirmishers. Like, it's really easy for me to have a lot of good infantry and cav for my armies. Oh, wait, no. Mounted crossbow. There's a, this is at least a new unit from the thing we got recently. But I just don't see anything more recently for gunpowder units. Like, even the improved tower stuff isn't popping up just yet. Like, the John Knights. I wouldn't see anything there. Ranges, maybe? No, there's Levy Crosswoman. Um, barracks? No, no, nothing yet, just from there. And actually, one thing I'm kind of thinking about right now is uh, I might actually have the Wealth sibling when he comes of age. I might have him be the one that starts pushing into service because I do want to properly kill him off. Uh, Cousin Army. I guess I removed all these guys that are not, like, uh, uh, removed all the ones that are not in an army. Um, Golden Wall. Okay. Um, rebellion in Georgia. Well, I don't control Georgia, so I don't think I care. Um, sports Guild and Ride. Yes, please. I'll grab that. Investment. Yeah, we're aware of that. How are we doing financially? Um, not bad. They're making 30000 per turn right now. Not insane amounts, but doing okay. I don't see the Mongols over here, so that means they probably are yeah. further south, possibly? Oh, yep. Yeah. yeah, there they are. Oh, God. What's the military been doing? Their military. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's almost equal to mine. It did change. Uh, once I recruited a little bit, it did improve and make it so I am now the top dog once again. As I did have it so that what I did is down here, I am going to start trying to gather some forces uh, around here. So I'm basically having to oh, grab a bunch of feudal knights, no, everybody. Up. Now that's really easy for me to just grab a bunch of these over yeah. here. Uh, Verona needs some more dudes over here, though. I'm sure you guys are happy. But you know, we can grab all those, and then I have some more crossbowmen that I'm going to grab from around here. But basically, trying to get you guys ready. I do need to get rid of you. 
Uh, I think I have yeah. So let's have you make your way over and try and get rid of this heretic, please. Want to uh, purge this heretic? And then no I will keep gathering more men together. Ah, oh, man, I keep losing more people. Fritz the Honorable was in Bremen. He was just one of my guys that was just chilling up here, sadly. Oh, damn it. This is the issue with me putting so much emphasis on just this family tree. That, um, other family trees definitely start uh, hidden, being hit, a bit of a hidden. On my way. Let's see, Granada, nobody in there. Let's see, where's our city? Well. Come on, there's gotta be another on one nearby. Happily, uh... Mankind. Yeah, we're almost there. Oh, on yeah, there we go. Way. Is anybody? Ah, oh, nobody. There. Damn it! What happened to all your generals? I wonder where they all are. Uh, nothing there. I'm still hoping that that the one Portuguese general I saw, since the crusade was completed by me, he should be making his way back. And ideally, I will be able to now try and have it so we can try and capture him if possible. I would love if we can do that because that guy actually looks pretty decent. Uh, Bisbee brothel. There's not actually a lot of else to build here. Like you guys are just waiting to grow. It's only going up 1% per turn right now. I need a general in there to help it out a little bit more. Napoli, you guys are good. Again, we're trying to get more of the attorneys. And then Tripoli, again, keep focusing on conversion. We need to convert these areas as soon as possible. And then it's another 8 turns until I can get one of those guys. Uh, let's see, Auker 5 turns until they give up there. And 3 turns until they give up here as well. Alrighty, guys, they're trying to attack Halab once again. Oh my god, these forces are such shit at this point. Oh my god. Like, they've really... Okay, this one has a lot of cap, though. This one actually has a lot of cap. That could be a bit of an issue. I'm gonna have you guys be commanded myself. I don't want you to be commanded by the AI. Uh, I don't want those two of the units that you're gonna technically give me, because it's gonna be the general and, like, something else. I don't know. We'll try and bring you guys into the final layer to try and help out with this siege. We've held well enough, though, that I think this should be fine. And technically, I do have the reinforcements from the other army if I really need them. I just don't think we will. Okay, here they come! They're coming in on mass. I'm trying to see if I can still have my cab here. Keep trying to distract their forces the best they can, because I want them to not use the ladder or the rams if possible. Infantry is all in position and waiting for them to come on in. Still don't know what the fuck's going on with you. But archers, you guys are unloading, and we've done some good damage so far. 9% of their forces overall, but probably 20% of one of the enemy armies. Just please just ignore my cab. Like, please, just let them sit here and think they're one of you, as I'm just trying to make sure they don't use the other ram. Oh, fuck, they're using that ram now again. Uh, no, hit this ladder, though, too. I want to map at least get this ladder to drop. Come on, this ladder, this ladder, this ladder. Get up here. There we go. That ladder's at least been dropped. Uh, one enemy general's now dead. And my cab are now inoperable. I cannot use my cab anymore, so now we just have to wait and see what happens here. Where they are bringing men up around here. They are probably... Yeah, they're already breaking down the gates, but with how many men I've got down here, I think we should be okay. They are now through the gates. For the most part, though, they are breaking actually went quite nicely. Some units are running away almost immediately. I'm a little worried still about how things are going and how many cav units they have. They have a lot of cav units in the one, that second army of theirs. For the most part, though, if, as long as my archers can kill, keep doing some good damage, I think we'll be okay, because it's number-wise, it's climbing up rather nicely in our favor. A lot of you guys are breaking. This guy's taking a lot of damage, because you were trying to get down off of the walls. Uh, there you go. You know, a lot of them are breaking. Beautiful. Alrighty, and there's the timer. We have almost killed the other two generals. I'm wondering if we'll be able to take them out before the end of the battle. Because there's not a lot of cav over here at this point in time. Like, bodyguards down to two guys there, and I thought I saw... Yeah, there's another one there with four. And I think the second army had just a captain. If I remember correctly. So ideally, if we kill both these guys, that's all the named generals for this force. Which, come on, I want to kill them before the battle's over, because it's so close. Enemy general has been oh, there's another one. Come on, can we kill the other one too? To yeah, we did! Okay, so we killed both those generals. So, all three generals that were in at least the one main army for sure are now dead. And I, I just don't believe there was a... No, actually, if it was a Jihad, he had to have it in general. Yeah, no, there's gotta be at least one more technically then. I just don't know where he is. And it's not really worth it me trying to chase after him. Because the battle's just about to be done. Uh, just ten more seconds, and then we'll have held Halab once more. I didn't even need my reinforcing uh, army for the most part. Hopefully you guys recovered a decent amount of my infantry. I took quite a bit of damage there. Because yeah, 400 casualties on my side, 12, uh, 4,600 on theirs. And I did lose, yes, some of my infantry did straight up die. That's a shame, but this should be, ideally, the end of this Jihad. They should be giving up now after this point. And I should be able to now just take a damn breather that I desperately want and start trying to have it so that we can make sure we can start expanding around here. Um, that's the, ooh, that's the air. And it rejected it. Well, I tried to give you a chance. 
but he's dead now. <laughs> Beautiful. And now for the siege I don't want to do because I have horrendous fucking stats. I think we should be okay, though. We've been able to retrain and get some pretty good units around here. I just don't like that your command is shit. Absolute dog shit. But if we fail, technically, I do have reinforcements that are on their way to try and push in here and start pushing back Serbia. I would like it so that the Wolf uh, General, uh, the Wolf Kid, gets to start taking over this force and lead, lead that assault. As long as he's um, a militarily minded, I would probably do that, honestly. Because I do like the idea of him just watching over Welfberg, but I think it makes more sense and is more poetic for him to push on out of Welfberg and start going on a counterattack against all the people that have been giving shit to his family, trying to attack his homelands for decades. Literal decades. So, to me, that's very poetic, and I would really appreciate doing that. So, let's get all my guys up on the walls here. All my good infantry first, and then basically we'll have it so that uh, my archers, I'll probably have you guys down off the walls, and then have it so what we need is just for the most part bring, uh, bring you guys over when we really need you to just kind of delay them as much as we can on the walls. And hopefully we do enough damage with my, all my archers that we win this fight. That's the hope at least. So you guys are all good there. Got all my skirmishers. I'll have to have you guys adjust in a second because otherwise you're going to be idiots. My generals though, my cap, I do need to move you guys up here so you can get them off of the rams and the uh, siege towers. Because as long as you guys can do that, we should have a better chance. They only had one ladder, right? No, they have two. They have two ladders. So let's have one of you make your way out over this way and then you need to make your way out because you're my better unit. Let's try and get the siege towers first, then get the uh, ram at the end. Because I just don't like the fact they have some pretty good infantry here. You guys get over to the side here. Go, 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 go. And then hit this pair of fighters. Hit that one. You guys then back off. Back off that ram. Let's see, shower. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. And we need you to hit the second one. And then the ram after that. Come on. And now hit this again. You guys can kind of run away there. You don't need to keep fighting those guys. Enemies ladders have beat Let's drop. There we go. And now let's go hit the ramp. So it's low. Oh, also. Stop firing. You're wasting ammo. You're, you're not really hitting anybody. You've done... Ah, well, technically 10% of their forces have died already. That's probably from my cab, honestly, and not actually from any of my skirmishers. So, yeah. Stop firing. And now, hopefully, they drop that ram and keep it dropped. And now, it should just be us focusing on the walls. There we go, guys. You've been able to hold the walls for the most part. I think they only have their cab now at this point. <gasps> no, some son of a bitch picked their siege tower back up. How dare you? No. Or wait, are you leaving with it? They, they, they look like they're just leaving with it. If you're not going to actually do anything, then, like, I can just start putting guys on the walls and start shooting what's left. Although, I think I killed literally every, almost every single infantry unit. And all that's left is just the cap, which they have a lot of. Alrighty. We've been able to hold once more. They did start trying to utilize their siege tower again, like I saw earlier. But they just went all over the place with it, just blitzing around. Never got to the walls, though, but... Been able to do some good damage to these guys. I do believe that the early, this general that we have in here is technically a, a ministerly minded general. I would love to have a military minded general so that we can actually start pushing into Serbia now. Another guy I have in uh, Balermos is uh, one, but he's starting to get up there in age. Might not be the best person to utilize in trying to do a counterattack against them. Because they don't have much land. They really don't. They only have, I think, like four ish regions. And so it will not take me long, like, once we have an actual force trying to push into them, to push them back and do some good damage. Honestly, probably what we'll do is, for now, I think, stick that force that I have on the bridge, bring them over, and try and have them maybe help out just at Wealthburg specifically. Um, I think we have some the, the crossbows I was trying to recruit are now ready. Although, I can't wait until I get, like, actual just, like, strip. Ooh! Uh, ooh, wait, wait. This is for one of the whelps. You are military mind. You know what? I will accept you. Yeah, you're for one of the wealths. You're for one of the wealth daughters. King France is dead. Missy Bonsi will lower that. I'm going back over here then. Um, so let's see, where is he? So he is. Was this guy right? Yeah, this one. So this is the one I want. So I'm going to bring you down this way. Yeah, I'm going to have you be the one that leads this. So it's technically still a wealth member. Just not the wealth member I thought it was going to be. But yeah, no, let's have you go this way. Um, sort of kind of gather these guys together with you. And I do have more of these crossbows. Let's have them group up in for right now. Because they'll be making their way back down south right now. And then I can have it so... Let's see. Venzia, first you need to focus on retraining your stuff. Uh, you need to start that up there. Uh, around here, I can get a couple more Feudal Knight units. I will gladly grab some more for each of you guys. There, there, there. And then here as well. Uh, Inter-Port. I'd like to see that. Not bad. 
Nothing else crazy around here. No. Good thing wise spare. Yeah, you're good. You're killing stuff up. Chop brothel. Okay. And then in the back. Yep, that's good. Okay. Going back. Let's see. So just get there. Get there. Oh, people say so loving me right now. I'd love to see that. Um, back over here. The jihad is not technically actually failed, surprisingly. Um, I'll type it so that you guys, first and foremost, uh, recruit some more guys around here. Ooh, actually, they're really expensive, but, like, these guys are better. Actually, these have a higher attack. These guys, I think, would be better for a defensive unit. So grab those two and then start trying to retrain units. So start trying to train all of these guys. And then you, um, can't do any merges. Let's have it so you, yeah, nobody's around here right now. I'll have you start to sieging uh, Damascus. Because for the most part, we can just keep sieging you guys. Um, there's a unit there. I'm going to get rid of this one guy. Oh, I can't disband you while you're on the city, damn it. That's a shame. That's okay, though. Um, you guys still waiting seven turns. And it's two more here, four more here, and then finally those guys will give up. And here they come once again for Wealthburg. Gladly do so, guys. You have just basic infantry. Oh, okay, not basic. These are pretty good infantry. Oh, okay, you suck. You guys are good, and you guys are okay. So it's only really this unit that all that matters. But I have a bunch of skirmishers and my cavalry. So as long as we can focus them onto the latter's Wealthburg, we'll hold once more. And I now have it so one of the adoptive sons of the Wealth family is soon going to be taking over command to try and push on in through here and actually have a proper counterattack against the uh, Serbians. Because it's been far too long that we haven't done anything against them. And also, uh, Hungary has been excommunicated once again. So I do want to try and have it so that at some point I'm going to try and deal with them again. So I'm trying to push on in and actually start attacking them. Although I do need to double check and see. Um, how's, how is Hungary doing? Because uh, as long as they only have... I know they've been at war... Well, I have to see who they've been at war with to get them excommunicated. Because uh, it's probably Poland. And if it's Poland, uh, they might have actually been doing a lot of damage. And I'm a little worried that they are actually going to be a lot stronger than I remember the map. As the map information I have from them in the past, eh, they're not that bad. But um, I, I could imagine like if we push on in there uh, when we're not ready, that could be a big issue. So I have to be careful about that. Uh, that should be pretty much all my guys, right? Oh, no, you haven't moved up yet. You need to go over here. And then that should now be everybody. Okay, so yeah, I have my captain just stand in the back here. Start the battle with my other general. You need to oh, my uh, other cab units. Get you guys to run it out. Let's focus on the uh, siege tower first. They have the siege tower and two rams. Ladders are good. You guys should be okay as you are. Make sure you have guard mode on. Also, you guys have skirmish mode off. Well, you guys at least have skirmish mode off for the archers. You guys, the javelins are fine. So hit the siege tower. Get them to drop that. And then focus on the ram next. Get them to drop that. And honestly, some of these guys have really bad stats that I might just keep trying to charge into them and do more damage. Although for right now, let's see, so which one was it again? It was the... It's not you. It's this guy. Yeah, this is the only unit that I actually care about. Everybody else has pretty bad stats and should be destroyed pretty nicely once they start fighting me on the walls. Alrighty, you guys have been to a hold once more. Hopefully I'll be able to get some proper punishment around here because it's been a while since some of you guys have been retrained. Uh, at least I am going to be having the forces push through here soon to kind of give you guys some breathing room. Even if you guys siege me once more, I can break them with an army. As I know, we've got pretty much almost all of my feudal units that I want ready and gathered together. I just need to get my general down here. Yeah, they actually slept with that. And just get those guys down around here. And then they do have that one big army there. Oh, you guys are actually going to sally out. Hmm, I'm surprised by that. I was not expecting you guys to actually do that. Um, let's see, because this army here... Oh, this is their heir. Um, yeah, not that, a cra not that crazy. Yeah, no, nothing too crazy here. I think we should be fine here with this fight, given the army we've got. And we've got some pretty good experience. Some of you guys are a little more beat up than I would like. But, given the amount of experience you guys have and you're selling out, I think we should be good here. So, we'll just have to make sure... I do, I do not have a lot of infantry, though. That is one issue. But, uh, as long as we can kill the enemy general, especially since it's their heir, if he dies relatively easily, then the rest of the enemy army will break. The infantry doesn't look that great. Cav is actually pretty okay. But the infantry and skirmish... Okay, so the skirmishers are okay units, too. But as long as I have the cam advantage, we should be fine. So let's get you guys to drop all of your equipment. And I need to grab my general and all of my cavalry. I'll grab all of you guys. Then the skirmisher cav. So then I only have, like, what, 
four units of infantry. Yeah, like, not even, really. Um, let's get you guys set up here. Can I be behind the siege tower to try and have it so you have some sort of blockage uh, to kind of take cover from? Uh, group up my skirmishers as well. Get in position, guys. Make sure you have skirmish mode off, and then also have it so you have guard mode on. Melee cap. Let's get you guys to kind of group up over on the side here, and then some of you over on the side here. And then skirmisher cap, kind of on the right side as well, I'd say. Because bounce power-wise, it's pretty even initially. As soon as they start trying to rush on in here, basically what happens to my, my melee cap, your goal is going to be trying to kill off of their archers, and also the general's bodyguard if possible. Because we've got a lot of you guys, that is one issue I am concerned about. But, I think for the most part, there's so much cap, holy shit. That's a lot of cap, holy hell. Okay, let's have, uh, let's see, general's bodyguard. Get right there. Let me make sure I hit the right guy. Yeah, so just focus on him. Uh, you're a javelin unit, technically, so just pick your own targets. Uh, you guys start trying to run in. Those guys are missile caps, so do unload onto those guys. Let's see, my melee cap here. Uh, at the moment, yeah, there's some spearmen back here. Actually, depends if they let the gates stay open. I might just try and run on him. Um, but for right now, at least, let's have you guys try and charge on in here. Our Help out against the lancers, the number wise, like five to five, so it's pretty, good. it's pretty even. Ours. I was hoping that maybe it would be going up a little bit faster. General's bodyguard is dying quickly. He's down to 20 guys. So if he can die... Yeah, there we go. So the enemy air dead. I expect this army to be a lot easier to break now. Yeah, so many of you guys are already with me. Let's get my cab to kind of pull back a little bit away from the infantry. And then, let's see. So he's dead. I need to get to those skirmishers back there. Let's kind of loop back around. Gates are open. Hey, General's bodyguard, you want to go deal with that? Let's have you gonna go run on inside, possibly, and capture the city center for us. And I can leave everybody else out here to start trying to harass the enemy army. You guys go there. Oh, I don't like how bad you guys are doing. Hey, get on there. You don't have to distract them for very long. Just long enough that we can actually finally break them all. Let's like, get on in there. These guys are shaking. I imagine they should start breaking. Yeah, some of you guys are breaking. Run them down. Number-wise, we're at 18 to 23. It's close. It's very close. The They're about to reset. Yeah, they just reset the city center. <sighs> it's kind of hoping you guys be fine, but no. Just have to keep trying to break them now with my cavalry here. Because their their general's dead. So I expect to cause some pretty good chain routes if I can get the right hits. Yeah, right, right there. Yeah, 30 to 43. And then keep running these guys down. You guys are almost out of ammo, but I think you guys can charge into this militia spot right here. And that should break them, and then we can keep running more of them down. See, these are archers. I'll wait until all my cab is ready to hit them all at once. Is it these guys here shaking? Yeah, some of you don't want to break. Yeah, some of you guys don't want to break, but others are all the I'll tell you guys run these guys down before they get back to the walls, though. Just come on, Brad. 33 to 51. Come on, get them before they get back to the walls. There we go! So, we've been able to liberate... Okay, there we go. We've been able to conquer Damascus now at this point in time. As I'm assuming that's what it's going to be renamed to. But there we go! Did take a bit more damage than I would like, just because, uh... This general isn't the best. Also, they did have quite a bit of cav. But, we've now been able to take another city around here. Slowly but surely, forming up a proper empire around the Levant. Where... Oh, man, that I do need to try and see. I think there's another castle south of here, I think, that is, um... Is with us, I think it's we southeast of Jerusalem. I could have sworn there's another one around there somewhere. Because I would love to go take that city, or that castle. Because there's a lot of cities around here. Cities are... I can defend cities, but castles are far easier. As, well, a city I can usually defend against one full stack. Castles, I can defend against multiple full stacks. That's kind of the main distinction I always view. Uh, Lund, Field, and Guild, yeah, I'll take that. Uh, normal Martial Law and Tripoli, good. Long um, yes, I'm glad they do that. Oh, son of a bitch. My one guy failed around here, god damn it. Okay, well, let me see if I can get some more priests around here. Start trying to have it so we can get some more of you guys to start trying to help out getting rid of this guy. And now the new one that is also now spawned. Let's see, so 35, 25. Who's the guy with 35 first? So, like, right there. Uh, let's see, also you as well. I do need to double check, though, and whether or not my guys are still making their way over to the Holy Land. I believe they are. No, some of you keep getting stuck and stop moving. Damn it, guys. You need to keep making your way over here. 
Oh yeah, no, there's three of you just chilling here doing nothing. Gotta love you guys. You're doing absolutely nothing and I'm paying you to do it, basically. Oh my god. Because I know right now, I, I kind of hate, like, it makes sense, but I also hate that I can't get, uh, recruit priests around here. It is more immersive and it makes more sense as to why I can't. But mechanically, it's a pain in the ass. So like you guys go over there, uh, start definitely tr trying to convert this area now, and then I'm gonna have you merge men in together, and then start trying to, first and foremost, probably get this, to lower the taxes, oh god, they're pissed off. Oh yeah, that's not gonna do all that well, because it's primarily, yeah, religious unrest is 75% there. Uh, get this to start trying to help out, but then start trying to get the small church. You guys here, you're on a train launch. Can I get some mercenaries around here? And get one. That's something. Helps out a little bit, but not by much. You guys will be probably giving up uh, around here this turn. Uh, Halab, I do need to make sure that you guys uh, keep trying to train. You've got already good. You have to keep retraining all that stuff around there. And then Tripoli, I'm going to need a while until I can actually move you guys out of here. As I want to move this army out to do a bit more. Although, honestly, this is like a very considerable uh, tiny little kingdom, and I really appreciate it. I would like to probably control, I would say... I do want this city at some point. I really do. I just think we have to wait until we properly have all this stuff secure. Like, this is a good spot for down south. I think there's something down here. I do my spy. Let's see. So double check and see. Is there a yeah, castle down here? Way. I thought there was. Uh, I don't see anything down there, so I don't believe so. I'll have to just double check again. Uh, when my spies die, that's okay. And then buildings. Bremen, you're good. Um, I would say, let's see, Alm, you're good. Regensburg, you're good. Loven, you're good. Lund just got an upgrade. You guys get the quarries built up there. <gasps> Ooh. So it just gives them more experience. Nothing else crazy, but it does have it so they have more experience now, a little bit, which is kind of nice. Um, well, I appreciate that. Yeah, so let's get the let's queue that up, and then I'll queue up these three things first. Those three extra things. Um, other than that, let's even lawn. You just got something as well. Um, let's get the chapel and then queue the stuff stuff up. Then let's see. Uh, you guys here? Yeah, just keep focusing on the military buildings. I do need to try and have it so you guys, if you can, keep eating some more men. This area's a little upset. Uh, from that, Revolve, you're good, I would say. Although, can I get one of those guys just yet? Uh, no, I can't get any more free upkeep units around here, sadly. Wish I could. Alrighty. Antioch gave up without a fight. Beautiful. Um, let's see. That's just one of my armies. That's okay. East Roman Emperor is dead. That's not good. More embezzlement. And then, let's see. Damascus. Yeah, you guys are pissed. No shit. Uh, I'm not surprised by that. Let's see. Because try and repair stuff. Oh, actually, let me double check. So, that doesn't do anything really. It's, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Fine, and that's fine. Yeah, no, every single one of those, that's fine. Um, we do need to start trying to get these small churches. Uh, this area is honestly probably going to rebel, and uh, we'll be in the same situation we had with Antioch. Like, if I bring you over here, can I put these guys in here and have them watch over the city? Let's see, if I lower the taxes, 40, and then I get that up. Ah, uh, it's, it's better, but still really upset. And I don't have... No, I can't recruit General's bodyguards around here just yet. 36 turns. It takes so long to get anybody to be happy around here. I hate it. Um, because I don't want you guys to just sit here. But I have to do something, because like you guys are now trying to help convert this area. Antioch is at 43%, so it's like it's doing okay. Um, a couple of my other priests, like, you guys are practically almost here, so I can get you guys to be over here, start trying to help convert this area. As I've been trying to send as many of you guys over here, honestly, I do need to just get a proper fleet, because I'm still worried about the fact that, um, my, I don't have really strong fleets right now. I've got, like, one over here, which is, I think, okay. Like, if I have you guys start building some more up around here, I think if I have you start moving out now, you'll be able to do something. Uh, this army, however, though, we'll just now start moving you out, because this is a disgusting, yeah. beautiful army. Like, I'm going to have you start making your way forward. I'm going to ignore the army, so I'm just going to walk straight for those cities. Welfberg, though, I do need to make sure that you try and retrain, which you can. This area is pretty beat up. Let's actually put you up there first, because I'd say you, you, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, I think, a good order right there. So, queue all that up for retrain, and then I would say, let's see, open my... You guys, um, get the practice range and the siege works, I'd say. Ooh, actually, that costs a lot of excess money. Let's, uh, let's use that. Um, other than that, orphanage, all of you guys queue up this and this. Scara, definitely get the better hand style of league stuff. If you guys have that available in any of these regions, get every single one of them. 
pretty much almost all of you do. Napoli, um... Let's give you some more... Uh, give the better farms. Better farms. Keep that stuff up there. Um, let's see. So, also, we then have Sis, who I would say is better farms. Actually, ooh, actually, no. Uh, Castle Library. Yeah, Castle Library, I would say. And then this area, we've already got the Public Gallows, and are repairing things, which... Uh, that's gonna help a little bit. 65% still. It's better than last turn. Last turn, it was at 75%. So, it is improving. I just need more of my guys. Like, honestly, I'm about to take this area soon, but I can probably just put more of you guys over here to help out this area a little bit. And I... I should have to take you guys out of here for right now. I need to just have you guys watch over the area for right now. Once I get the chapel built up a little bit more around here, I think maybe then we'll be okay. But for right now, I need to really focus on building that up. Ooh, I found another general. Are you marriable? Let's see, you're 30. I don't know what your traits are, but I need to have you marry somebody. So let's try it. 66%? Yeah, there we go. What are your stats, man? Let's see, military minded, intelligent, fit for office, troops eager to fight, physically active, dropped of sun. Does he have. He does. Good. He does have that trait. Okay, I was worried he wasn't going to, but I've now been able to get another family member to join on into us. So now we have it. So we have not only the Arganese, we also now have the um, Leon uh, family members in here as well. I now just want to get Portugal. That's the one family I have not been able to get over here. Technically, I could still try and steal somebody from um, Scotland. But for the most part, I've been able to get... I think I haven't gotten somebody from Hungary. Yeah, I think Hungary and Scotland and Portugal are the only families I have not gotten somebody from. At least for all the Europeans. I almost literally have every single one of them. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, this is a horrible time for the- because I hate that this area decided to rebel. Actually, the- wow, that's not bad, actually. I was expecting this to be far worse. Honestly, you outnumber me two to one. I think we can win this fight. There's a lot of cap, but they are led by a captain, and they're attacking me. So let's fight this, honestly. I guess, yeah, they did take- they did rebel, and I'll have to take the city back, but that's okay. I need more time to convert the region anyways. So the more time I have to convert the area, the easier it will be for me to actually properly maintain and control this. Because, man, the more I see, like, how, like, they really make the religious conversion a huge pain. I wonder if it is even possible to actually have a proper full world conquest of this map. I don't know. Simply because it is so hard to maintain a kingdom that doesn't hate you. Because, man, the relig religious conversion is a pain, takes forever, and it's just the amount of unrest there is for it is also ridiculous. So, I don't know. I, I, it's interesting. I'm glad we've been able to get as far as we have been, and honestly, I'm kind of basically waiting for this campaign to get to a point where it's like, okay, I now basically have it, so we're at a pretty good place to just end it at any time, basically, and uh, we'll then just, once we have a campaign that we really want to try next, that's when I'll uh, be like, okay, we can end this campaign. Because I love that we've been able to get to the point where we've been able to. I, we're almost to the point where I can get some of the, like, the Gothic Knight units for us. I mean, you get to like the 1300s for that. And we're starting to enter into that era. I think, if, if I remember correctly, from Vanilla Medieval 2. Once you get gunpowder, it's like 80 episodes. 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80 episodes for this game. Thing. No, 80 turns. Until you start getting the actual like elite units along with gunpowder. Yeah, like, these guys are already starting to route. They are starting to do a good amount of damage with the skirmishers. 3 to 1 so far, not the best. But if I can just keep them routing like this, I can do quite a bit of damage. It's just I'm really worried about the cap. They have a lot of cap here. My skirmishers are now going to start unloading into their infantry, which should kind of get us a little bit closer to the actual numbers. Uh, the left side is basically where we're putting a lot of our attention initially. So if we can have you guys win this fight over here, then we can go to the right side and help out over there. Oh, they're already starting to run. Yeah, I have some of you guys help out over here in melee. Because this is going to be close. They are led by a captain. Which he was... He was one of the mounted guys. I don't know which one he was, though. Because I'd love to have my archer strength focus him down. But at the moment, though... It's 15 to 15. Like, they're shaking. I need them to... Oh, wait, I see him. I see him. He's somewhere right here. He's the slancer unit here. You guys can shoot him. Melee Cab, you guys are still in combat. Oh no, those guys are breaking. Yeah, Melee Cab, uh, group you guys all up. Get back over here. Focus on the Cav. Yeah, this guy's right here is the, the Lancer. Yeah, the Lancer is technically the General's bodyguard. Do you make sure that mine doesn't die? 
Uh, he's like stuck in here. Please get out of there. Oh, he's so low. Oh, he's so low. 33 to 30. As long as we don't lose my general and they lose theirs, we should be fine. We should win. Just keep getting my general out of there. Go, 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 go. That's power is really fucking close. Yeah, this Lancer, the Fiery Lancer, he has to die. As long as he dies, we should win this fight. Get you guys over here to hit those guys there that are in melee. He's down to eight guys. Come on, kill him. 46 to 38. Come on, you can do it, guys. I believe in you. Just make sure you keep my general away. Oh, thank God he's dead. Okay, so he's dead now. Now can we properly get a good chain route? Because that's exactly what I needed. I just need you guys to start running. Because as soon as he dies... Yeah, look at that. Everybody's running. Okay, so we should just need to get them all to give up. So everybody route, and then I can run them all down. Come on, focus on the Lancers. That's like one of the few units that's still holding together. There we go. We were able to survive. I have pretty much nothing left. But we were able to survive. I desperately need to get some reinforcements for this army. As you guys did really well. It's 88%, so we need to get the match 85 we were able to take out pretty much the entire army they got for the um, rebellion around here. Now, hopefully, they let me get away, and I can have this general, who's actually a pretty good star general. Like, honestly, he's doing very well for himself. I need to get him a proper army. I might have him take over command of one of the forces that's, like, in Tripoli right now or something, if I can. Um, and basically have it so that he can keep pushing around here. Try and be nice. He rejected it. Okay. Oh, my God. He just leave me away. I could withdraw at this point, though, because I don't need to fight you. It's only infantry, though. <sighs> if I kill you, he'll be fine. Number wise, out me and number me a little bit. I, I honestly think it's probably better for us to try and fight this again. Because we can just sit, in the, sit back and do the same thing that we just did, where we have it so all my archers unload on them. I have some calf, and my general's bodyguard did heal a little bit. So as long as we take out their general's bodyguard here, this shouldn't be that bad. Like, they have the one archer that will be a bit of an issue, but the two infantry units should be extremely tired by the time they get over to me. So like, let's pull back here again, guys. Just wait for them to come to us. Because ideally, they'll just basically rinse and repeat exactly what they just did. And I have, like, no infantry. Yeah, you guys kind of group up here. Guard up there. General's bodyguard and my cav. Group you guys up here. You gain two guys back. It's something. Um, and then you guys there, I have like nothing, but it's at least something. Because honestly, I'm going to start out here with this. I'm going to start charging into their archers, see if I can just get a good charge in them before their infantry gets too close. Because I want to do this while I actually have a decent amount of my cab still. And then we need to pull back right about now. Pull back now. And then my archers here, as soon as they're all in range, I want to make sure you specifically try and target the general's bodyguard. Although at the moment, he's actually not even committing to the fight. So just going to pull back there, guys. Run away. Their archers are a little bit weaker now. Just kind of ignore them. If they're going to chase my cav, honestly, feel free to do so. I'd like to have him be shot at a little bit by my archers, though. So you guys kind of unload on him. I'll wait until he's a little bit weaker. Then I can charge him with my cavalry, and I should be able to win that fight. You guys kind of just over to the side here, making sure you're unloading to them. Jones bodyguard. Let's see, he's at 30 guys. He's not taking a lot of damage. I think I'm going to have to charge him now. As I, we do technically outnumber him technically. And getting that charge in on there. We need to reverse our fortunes. He's fucking close. Okay, Cap, get out of there. He's down quite a bit, but he's not dead. My general's almost dead, though. That's the one major problem. Come on, come on, come on. I'm to charge my archers. I don't want them to charge my archers. I'll try and get you in there. Just general, don't fight there. But all my other cab joining in. Now that they don't have the infantry. There we go. So he's dead. Now, let's get back over here. We need to group on up, hit these heavy spearmen first. Try and get them to break. There we go. They're breaking. Run them down. Capture them. I think it's then just the archers. Yeah, should just be the archers now at this point. Barely survived this, but I love that we did take out another Dean General's bodyguard. So, hit the, uh, hit the archers. They should break. There we go. He ran them down just a little bit longer. Oh, they're fighting dead. Uh, pull back, pull back, pull back. I don't want to actually do that. That's close enough. Okay. Now, please, leave me alone. Let me get back to my turn. Wait, did he die? No. It says he has men left. I think he just took too much damage. Yeah, please tell me he didn't die. 
He d it didn't say he died. I'm assuming it's just he took too many too much damage because literally just two guys left in his bodyguard. I can imagine that's why he lost so much experience. Oh come on, please, please, please tell me he survived. Because otherwise, it should have told me that he died. Yeah, he's alive. Okay, I was worrying for nothing. Yeah, I'm sacked, and then please tell me I can actually try and retrain those guys. Uh, <gasps> Papal Inquisition has now begun. Oh no. Inquisition now is now going to be more on average walking about and doing things. Interesting. Uh, no, I'm not taking that city just yet because I don't want to deal with that until we're ready to finally like finish this campaign up. So you guys don't have much around here. A lot of this is really beat up. I don't think there's much I'm going to keep out of all of you guys. I do think what I'll do is... Let me try and see if I can take like half of you guys. Oh no, they're pissed off even with me just taking a couple guys. Um... Let's do this. Let me bring you over to Sis and see how many men I can take out of here to try and retrain at a time. Because I can, I know some of you guys can be retrained here. Like I can just try and see if like you guys can be retrained. Technically, some of you can. So I can take you guys in there. Technically, this guy can't be. So I can get rid of you. Uh, I'm gonna let me go through all these units and see who I can and cannot retrain. So I get a couple guys in there. I'll basically have it so that uh, I'll group you guys up for right now. And just have it so, hey, put them in there, retrain those guys, and then I'll take them back next turn. Um, you guys are good there. Missing funds. We're all aware of that. And then building-wise, Frankfurt. Let's see. You guys. Let me get some better farms and just queue up more economic stuff. Um, going back to Lyon. You guys kind of same deal. Honestly, don't, don't get that. Don't, you do not want that. Oh, actually, how are we doing money-wise? Doing okay. It's not as much as I would like. I, I know part of that really is the whole fact that this army here is expensive as shit. It really is. So let's move yeah. you down around this way. Uh, my fleet. Yeah. See if I can have you... Ready. Almost. So I'll have you pick these guys up. Kind of move them next turn. Be dropping them off and start trying to hit Zara. So we actually start a proper counterattack against you guys. Uh, you guys, you're good for the most part. You're at least retraining as much as you can right now. I do think, though, this is probably a pretty good place to end for today. We've done some good damage. We've now heard of the tales of gunpowder being brought about in the world. I do make sure to slowly start getting this guy out of here. Because at the moment now, I have stolen another one of you. And you are military minded. I might actually have you also help out with stuff against, um... I can't get out that way. Uh, have you guys help out possibly against Serbia as well. But I do think this is going to be a pretty good place to end for today. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you guys did, let me know down in the comments down below. Love what you guys have to say about this campaign. Any thoughts you have on it in general. This is Rampant. I'll see you guys next time. This guy out of here. Because at the moment now, I have stolen another one of you. And you are military.